and welcome to my video on uh, my new event system and teleport uh, events. Um, so right now I'm just going to show you, I've already set up uh, four maps that are connected together through events. Uh, one of them you've seen already if you watch my previous videos. Uh, right now I was adding a fifth map on as a just to give you a general idea. Uh, this is the map I've created. Um, last time I was recording this, which was like a couple hours ago, I had a blackout in the middle of recording, which was very annoying. So I got this far. So now all I really need to do is put down the teleport event. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. Um, so as you can see, I could set player start. I have that option. I can also uh, edit the weather. I'm not going to because this isn't going to be edited. But you'll see the weather option change with some other maps that I've created uh, that the player will be teleporting to. So when I place my uh, teleporter, this little teleporter options pops up automatically and it's good just to set it here you don't have to worry about it later so I'll set the channel to 5 set the map okay so you set the channel uh, the channel works to find the teleporter on the other side which on the other map that you're connecting it to uh, in this case I'm connecting it to map 002 so I just select that and then press OK. That's all I need to do. Uh, and just for good purposes, just oh here, no. it's good to put it on um, the selection tool, so you won't have to worry about uh, you know drawing any tiles offhand like I just did. Um, and also, you want to fill this whole path up here with uh, teleporters. So to do that I would just set each teleporter. For now I have to do each of them manually. I'm sure I'll get a copy and paste tool up but uh, this is too late and that blackout kicked out a lot of my time so I just wanted to show you this right now. Because um, it's actually a really cool development. So I did that and right now I get a major error if I would teleport to the other side because there are no teleporters with channel 5 on the other side on the other map so I'm going to need to connect it so first I'll save this um, what is it called? video map yes okay I'll first I'll save that and then I'm going to open up map 002 alright you've seen this map before it's that woods map you see the, yeah. Um, so I'll place, I always set it like one spot away from the edge because if the player goes too far off the edge, you get an error. So don't do that. Uh, one, one spot away from the edge is good. So select video map. Then do it here too. Okay, um, so now at this point, I am ready to play this in-game. So, all I did was edit two properties and add some events, and now I'm going to play it and show you. I don't have Fade Out right now. I think it looks pretty good without Fade Out, but I might add an option for it. Okay, so you see the starting map here with the rain. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so I can move to the map to the left. And this is that map that you guys have seen in earlier videos that I made. It's like 100 by 100 tiles. And the tile size does not uh, affect whether you can teleport to the map. It just depends on um, where you place the teleporter. 
So as you can see now, I am in that other map that I was that I just made. Uh, and this is kind of an odd occurrence because I didn't add collision. So yeah. <laughs> so this is what happens when you forget to add collision on your maps, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll fix that later. So in the debug mode of my game, I am God. So as you've seen previous, I can make it night. And the best part about this is that if you go to another, uh, it's, it affects the world. So if you go to the next place, it may start raining because the weather event's set to rain. But it'll still be night, which is great if I have to implement some kind of clock system. So here you see, here let me turn off the, so now I can make it day again. Uh, here you see a different map that I connected it to. There's like a river running through here and some like mountains and stuff. And then it comes out here and there's no more rain. And yeah, there's collision here. And then here's like where the path ends. So it's pretty straightforward system. Uh, all I need to do is copy and add copy and paste uh, teleporters, and uh, I'll be on my way. Um, thanks for watching the video. Uh, the next thing I hope to show off will hopefully be a the start of a menu system. Uh, that I'm going to work on the graphics for and stuff like that.